and God is on. We hold these truths to be self-evident that man is created equal, that he is endowed by his creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I've got this, these words in the Declaration of Independent, Independence mounted, inscribed in stone on my wall. Uh, not that it has taken the place of scripture, which it hasn't by any means replaced scripture, but it's there indelibly as a heritage because of scripture. And uh, we hold these truths, we hold these truths to be self-evident. Happy 4th of July to you. This is a special broadcast on our blog in regards to the 4th of July and the birthday of, of America. So happy birthday, America. Uh, we're grateful for the blessing of every nation and every nation is anointed of God. Uh, with a divine purpose, and ours is to be a nation called out of nations. And uh, thank God, thank God, we are the called out ones. That's literally what the church word church means, a called out solemn assembly of representatives. All right? So happy 4th of July. Uh, to all of you Americans that's watching this vlog and those of you around the world, I'd like to just kind of take this moment to explain to you where our heritage comes from. Second, Second Chronicles 7.14 If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. Well, you see the flag that's here. And uh, what is it representing? You see the stripes. You see the bloody stripes. By his stripes we are healed, Isaiah 53, 5. Uh, God says he will heal our land. In Second Chronicles 7, 14, he is the healer of nations. He is the healer of national wounds. We claim that today. We speak it prophetically. We also see the blue field which represents the heavens. And we see the stars of the heavens. And God told Abraham, he said, I'll make your seed as the sand of the sea. And we know that's natural Israel because that's part of the natural uh, creation of earth. But also celestial, terrestrial and celestial of the heavens. And so we are a nation called out of nations to be joined into the covenant of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel and the American Christian Judeo ethic of the calling of God and the blessings upon the family of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, of which we are grafted in and made a part of, according to Galatians 3. Um, in regards to our heritage, our Christian Judeo Heritage. George Washington said, the father of our country, the commander of the Continental Army, the president of the Constitutional Convention, our first president of the United States, he said, it is impossible to rightly govern a nation without God and the Bible. That's according to uh, George Washington. Impossible to rightly govern a nation without God and his word. Okay? So, Thomas Jefferson said this. He said, I am a real Christian, that is to say, a disciple of the doctrines of Jesus Christ. I am a Christian in the only sense in which he wished anyone to be, sincerely attached to his doctrines in preference to all others. Benjamin Rush was another founder, a famous founding father of American liberty. The, I'm, I'm giving you the secrets to become a superpower, a supernatural, supernatural secrets, supernatural advantages, supernatural strategies 
of the greatest superpower the world's ever known. Benjamin Rush, he was a signer of the Declaration of Independence. He was the ratifier of the Constitution. He was the treasurer of the U.S. Mint. He was the father of, he's called the father of American medicine. He's called the father of public schools. He was a surgeon general of the Continental Army. He said, the only means of establishing and perpetuating our Republican forms of government is the universal education of our youth in the principles of Christianity by means of the Bible. Patrick Henry, a great uh, Christian patriot in the revolution, founding father said, it cannot be emphasized too strongly or too often that this great nation was founded not by religionists, but by Christians not on religions, but on the gospel of Jesus Christ. The gospel of Jesus Christ, we're told in Revelation, is the spirit of prophecy, the testimony of Jesus Christ. What is the gospel? It's the life story or the testimony of the life of Jesus Christ. It's the spirit of prophecy. We are a prophetic nation here to speak prophetically to the nations, called out of the nations to return back to the nations. And there's never been a nation uh, that has promoted the gospel of Jesus Christ with more funds and finances in history. If all the nations combined together, they still have not equaled the investment of the seed of the United States throughout the world for the gospel of Jesus Christ. So we're called out of the nations to go back to the nations. This nation was not founded by religionists, but by Christians, not on religion, but on the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. John Jay, which was the first chief justice of the Supreme Court founding father said this, it is the duty as well as the privilege and interest of our Christian nation to select and prefer Christians for their leaders. I'm giving you strategies. I'm giving you strategies for superpower status. John Adams, our second president, of course, so active with the Declaration, so active with the Constitution, the Bill of Rights said this, the general principles on which the fathers of the nation of America achieved independence were the general principles of Christianity. I will avow that I then believed and now believe that these general principles of Christianity are as eternally immutable as the existence and attributes of God. So in other words, John Adams is chronicling and documenting that the principles of the Founding Fathers for Independence are the general principles of Christianity. Then he said, I have examined all religions and the result is that the Bible is the best book in the world. Secrets of superpower status. And uh, if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked, wicked ways, seek my face, that's what we've got to do. We've got to seek his face, worship. We have to humble ourselves, repent, turn mentally from our wicked ways. He will hear and he will heal. the schisms in our land. Were these men perfect? There's none perfect but Jesus Christ. Is our nation perfect? There's no nation that's perfect on earth. But we're striving for perfection. So we celebrate. We celebrate the truth of the roots of being the greatest superpower, not only militarily, scientifically in many ways, business financially blessed on the earth, but also 
a superpower for the gospel of Jesus Christ. God enabled us to do it so that we would continue on with our calling. And when America rediscovers its calling and its purpose, America will rediscover its greatness. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for America. Bless America. We're no, in no means perfect, but we're striving for perfection. Let the Holy Spirit be poured out from the courthouse to the state house to the White House to the capitals of this nation and the capital of the United States and Washington, D.C. Let us rediscover our calling to rediscover our greatness of the seed of superpower, the gospel of Jesus Christ and the person for whom it is focused upon, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, the greatest freedom fighter the world has ever seen. Let us rediscover that today on this special 4th of July occasion. We celebrate liberty. He who the Son of Man says free is free indeed, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. It's not by might, it's not by power, but by my Spirit, says the Lord. God is on.